Pitch on the way to Baker. Ground ball to third. Now has it. Here it is. And it's over. Cedar sit on the lead by two lengths. War Admiral is second to him. And Kurt Singer sitting still. Now War Admiral's trying to move to him. Bay Singer calling signals. Bay Singer to Tuning. Tuning is hit at the line of scrimmage and stopped by Bryant. Second down, still two yards to go for a touchdown. Robinson right into the body. Both of the standing throw to throw. Here's Sobo with a left to the right. Here's another left to the And now we take you live to the Stardust Hotel on the glittering Las Vegas Strip and into the largest and most luxurious race and sports book in the state. From this vantage point, Kate on Radio presents the Stardust Line with Lee Peep and Jim Brown. Join Lee and Jim as they talk sports by calling 732-6587 within the state of Nevada. Outside the state, call toll-free 800-634-6586. Or you're invited to see Lee Pete and Jim Brown and their guests from the sports world as they talk sports from the magnificent race and sports book in the Stardust Hotel Casino in Las Vegas. The information given on this program is for your enjoyment only. And now, the Stardust Line. Good evening, everybody. We welcome you to the Stardust Line. I am Lee Pete, and to my immediate left, a man that... Wishes he was in the shape I'm in, Jim Brown. Well, I'd love to be you, Lee. Whew. God, long way. I don't understand how you look so good in are six months different than our ages. All these people love you out there. Yeah. You okay? I'm fine. That's all I want to hear. Had a wonderful sports weekend. I saw the West German operate. Let me ask you something. In the world championship. How do you like the look of the West German women? I'll tell you. <laughs> it's a new trend. Woo! It means that we're all going to be the same soon. We'll not know the difference between each other. I can't believe I saw a couple of them. Is it styro? What are they doing to them? Something's happening. <clears throat> well, I can't really tell you what's happening, Lee, but I'll tell you something. I can't pronounce the name, but she won the 400 meters in world record time and 800 meters in world record time. And they did allude on TV to the fact that she was very masculine. But I never saw anything like that. Yeah. I mean, they are dealing with perfection. Something's going on different in ours, because most of our gals still look like young ladies to a certain extent. Yeah, they really look feminine, and Mary Decker was great today, and she's still feminine, and the feminine body, and I saw this person coming down in the 800 meters, and I almost jumped into the television when they said it was a woman. You think it was? I think they I'll never know. <laughs> But you uh, set a world record, man, and the stride was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. The power and the body, the chest. I didn't see anything that I thought was feminine. Well, maybe it's just as well I'm at the age of man if it's all changing. <laughs> I have a friend here tonight with me, and he is a friend. Thank God he turned gray at the right time. I'm going to have him come up here for a few minutes. Mort Olson's coming over in a little while. The gentleman who has the gold sheet, Lem Banker. Don, come on up a minute. Come on, around here. Come on, sit down. This gentleman here and I have been uh, bouncing around together for I don't want to tell you how long. Don's one of the really fine announcers in the Midwest. Last year he did the uh, Bowling Green University in basketball. He's done hockey and all the good things. University of Toledo. Oh, come on there, baby. And he brought... Hi, Don. How you doing? The gentleman who was the general manager of the Toledo Mud Hens is an old friend of mine. is Don's. And he brought us a T-shirt from the Mud Hens and a hat. And since Jamie Klinger got involved with MASH, of course, a few people know about the Mud Hens, and that's probably the only good thing they've done. Donald, hello, baby. Hi, man. How are you? Good to see you. Look both, you both look great. You really, really do. Yeah. Well, you look like a clone of Lee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I had his moves, believe me, I'd be in New York, not Las Vegas. Really? Where do you live? <laughs> we won't talk about it. Next to you, from Cleveland. Well, at least Cleveland you're here, and you had to travel here, and you got to go back somewhere, so that's more than Lee's doing. Let me. Uh, you haven't left, left Las Vegas in what? How many years? Can't afford it. I've been here 12 years. You've been here that long, Lee? Uh -huh. really? Radio is taking care of that. I don't know if you remember him uh, with the Toledo Mudhands. He's the general manager. But Jimmy, uh, Gene Cook, he had a tryout with the Cleveland Browns when you were playing. In fact, he. Yeah, I, I remember. He, yeah, you know. he stayed with him a couple years. <laughs> and he says, make sure that uh, Jimmy gets that hat. 
By the now, way, it's been 20 years since I've been to Cleveland Browns. Now. Really? I think well, he went to Detroit and got hurt on a, on, a, on a crossing pattern, heard he blew his knee, and it was all through. Gene was a good ball player. Trivia yeah. talk or what? No, no, Gene's a good ball player. Yeah. No trivia talk around you. I'm not talking no trivia. No, I mean, Plus it's your I can hardly remember the games I played in that long, you know, ago. <laughs> he asked about a guy that had a tryout. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Dustin, no, that's very right. Real. I mean, hey, you can do anything you want. The Lido guys have a click going on. You, yeah, it sounds like that old joke, but see, I'm too old for that anymore. I'm not big anymore. But you Toledo guys have a real thing going on, right? Yeah, we I mean, sure it's like do. A trinity that crosses the world. We are close. I'll say that. Most of the guys that have been in the air there stay close, don't we, Doug? Yeah, we get gray hair at 18. Lee, you're only, what, 22? I'll be 31. 31. Geez, you're old. Yeah, I got socks that old. Don? Yep. Uh, he comes out here. I'll tell you what he does. Don has a really a great show in the Midwest around Toledo. And a, an old friend of ours, Joe Sarno, does a little stick with him out of the castaways back to him and I'm going to go on next Saturday and say hello to a few old timers around town but Don I'll tell you something they tell me I talk to people in town you've really captured their imagination it's a nice product well everybody out here is too easy to work with and uh, you people out here are way ahead of everybody else in the other parts of the country as far as football the line and uh, you guys are getting it done out here, and we're just trying to pick up and maybe copy what you do out here. Oh, wait a minute. What do you do, Don? I think you play sports. I mean, you just comment on sports? Do you pick games? Oh, sure. Sure. Well, I didn't know, you know, I mean. Yeah. No, the only thing we can't do legally in the Midwest is wager on a game. Why does everybody laugh? Well, Don, I'll tell you why. <laughs> our biggest business comes from there. There's more going on in New York than there is going on in the whole state here one day. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you've learned your lesson well, I will say yeah. that. <laughs> Rick Hall over there, he tells me what to do. He says, get out here. I wrote a book. He says, I'm going to give you nothing but winners. Yeah, anyway. Sports yeah. Investor. By right. Rick Hall. He was on my show today. Rick, you did a great job. I understand he's going to be your guest either tonight or tomorrow. Oh, he'll come down tomorrow night. He's got a new book out. It looks like a nice product. I think he's going to do very well with it, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Who's the guy on the front of the cover? That's Rick, but that was taken in high school. <laughs> uh, Don, real quick, in the Midwest, people here that are interested in the Mid-American Conference, you're going to do Bowling Green Baskets again. Bowling Green Baskets. Uh, uh, we carry uh, Notre Dame football. Notre Dame, I think, this year. In fact, I just had him on the show a few weeks ago, Jerry Faust, super guy. I think he, he finally realizes that it's, the men with you that really count as far as coaches, you know, and he'll sit back and do the recruiting. I think Notre Dame will be right up there this year. Well, Jerry Faust loves his chances. He said he would take 9-2, and two, though, right now, the days of, uh, you know, 11-0. and 0. That's, that's gone by. Well, there's too much parity around. There is, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the Have you all noticed this conversation? The Mid-American Conference. Mid-American Conference, they've picked Bowling Green. That's all right. I noticed uh, this is the thing set up between the two of you. Now, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Syracuse, I think we're going to let right Jerry Faust pass because you guys is in this was third year, but he now has it together because these guys around his coaches, right? other coaches, really, yeah. It has nothing to do with his lack of experience in college ball. It it had a lot to do with his lack of experience. So he, I think he finally realizes it now. He yeah. really does, and he's he's got some good coaches with him. He brought in five new coaches for the win. Oh, he did. He, yeah. had to. he changed everything. Why did he do that? Well, he couldn't beat anybody. He was still going A42 and B42. That's to the right and the left. Well, who were those original five coaches? Uh, a couple came from Moeller with him. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, you're right. And I think they went whose back decision to Moeller. Well, it was Jerry Faust's decision. Uh, whose decision was? Was it Faust's decision to change those coaches? No. The alumni, the, alumni, the alumni said change it or go back to Moeller, so he had no choice to make. And, yeah. So it was him or the coaches that he brought. That's exactly he right. He chose to get rid of the coaches. I guess you learn by mistakes, Jimmy. And he made a few, but I think he's making the right moves now. What do you hear from Ohio State and Michigan, Don? What's the word? Well, you know, every year uh, they're same, one, two. Same two. You know, it's the big two and the little eight. Anybody in the Big Ten strong outside of those two? Not really. Not really. I saw a rundown, and when the guy got all through at the bottom, he said, these two will meet for the, see who goes to the West Coast when it's over, and they'll get beat by a West Never mentioned Purdue. Uh, Iowa, I guess, lost that great The word is out that Iowa should be loaded this year. Now, that's, you know, hey, Fry does a great job. Yeah. He's a good recruiter. Yes, he is. Yeah. How Syracuse, Jimmy? You should follow that school very closely. Joe Morris is uh, with the Giants. You watch him run the ball? I saw it in cable the other night. He looked a little overweight. He is quick, though. He's quick. 
You did see it, didn't you? Yeah. You caught that. I watched that, too. Yeah, he looked a little little overweight. He went from a scat back to a good-sized halfback. I'd say 20 Don't want to to put on weight so you can take the blows. That's a mistake. You never put on weight to take the blows. You use the skill. That's true. If you're under 40 and you have the skill, keep it there. Take yeah. the chances. Don't bulk up to take blows and lose your skill. I think Syracuse will be a representative of the modern-day orange, which means they'll win a few and lose a few. Basketball. I think it's going to take them a while. Yeah, yeah. basketball is their sport right now. They're just awesome there at that new uh, pavilion. Yeah. But football, they're, 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 they're going to have a tough time. Lacrosse, national champion. National champion. Well, you started that trend when you were there. Well, I didn't start the trend, but we did go undefeated. So I saw the records before and while you were there and after, by the way, when Jack Walsh did the story on I saw some of the stats. Oh, yeah. yeah your three years were very good. Yeah, we, had, uh, we won a lot of games. Donald, uh, have you ever thought about retiring and coming out here and messing with us? No, uh, just always have a great time, you know, but to live here, whew, you know, Don is, scare me. Don is one of those really bright guys on the radio. He got smart and got in the advertising in, too, and now he sells all his stuff for the station, plus he has his own show, and that's the only way to go. I have, I, you know, I've got six rugrats, you know, and i got to feed them, and I don't mean to call my two daughters rugrats. Uh, just kidding. All in jest, girl. Oh, those are your daughters. Yes, they so are nice. two of my daughters. And well, one's my wife, Jimmy. Thank you. I oh, know yeah. she looks like my daughter, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just I'm proud uh, that you asked me to come on to be on with two living legends. Uh, makes me feel proud. Oh, Thank you very much for asking me. Let's go me back on. a little bit. Uh, no, he's absolutely right. I'm assuming you're talking about Jimmy as a the living legend. Mark is me. How did I get in there? Well, you, it certainly wasn't on the football field, legend, but uh, you were a mover in your life, I'll tell you. He was a lover? Oh, oh that's God. an understatement. Come on. Oh, oh what a guy. Oh, oh, they still talk about him in Toledo. Oh, this is oh, oh, they really do. That's why he got along with all those outcast quarterbacks. I lived like a priest till I was 30. Derogatory comments about individuals or organizations or the use of profanity is not aired on KDON. All those guys used to no, tell me about coming fun. to your bar. You know, you used, to, you used to have a bar, right? Bobby, don't yes, drink. He had a bar. Oh, 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 oh. It was, it was so I nice. I put it all together. Call it under thing. after a girl. <laughs> Birds and feathers flock together. Right? Well, everybody out there can understand that Don and I are talking a lot of backdoor things, and we have grown up together. Basically, I'm a couple notches older, but uh, Toledo is a good town, isn't it, Donnie? We've had a lot of fun there. Good broadcasters come out. Of we have a good time there. The town's a good yeah, town. It's a great football. It's a great sports town. It really is. And uh, like I say, and you know, I said it in jest, but I really mean it. And I just don't think the people here and possibly the people in the listening audience realize that Jimmy Brown is actually a living legend in the state of Ohio. They still talk about, about you, Jimmy. And any time they show a, a clip on TV, uh, people just sit up and take notice and say, my goodness, they don't make them that way anymore. Well, Jimmy, I don't believe they do. I really appreciate it. But Lee, I'd like to do something different tonight. All right? So you bring these guys up, and they have all of this expertise, and we never challenge it. Right. Can I ask Don about three or four questions quick? Uh, you're going to take us off the air, are you? No, no. Okay, it's sure. Go ahead. All right. Because he's in the business. All right. Super Bowl. I yeah. hate trivia. Who is going to be in the Super Bowl this year? Dallas. And after that, flip of the coin. Dallas. I like Dallas, though. I really do. Okay. Uh, San Diego is close. I don't know. Uh, 